bago maging Taiwan, kilala sa pangalang Formosa ang bansang ito noong 1544. Taong 1684 naman ang tawaging Taiwan ng Tainan City sa ilalim ng King Government. Sa paglipas ng panahon, naging Taiwan na ang pangalan, hindi lang ng iisang lungsod, kundi ng buong isla. Truly a must if uh, you're visiting Taiwan, one of the iconic landmarks of Taiwan. Uh, this is the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Binuksan ito noong 1980, apat na taon mula ng mamatay ang founder ng Taiwan na si General Chiang Kai-shek. Sa Exhibition Hall, makikita ang naging official state cars ni General Chiang. Ito ang official state car mula 1972 hanggang 1975. At ito naman ang bulletproof glass car na ibinigay kay General Chiang ng mga overseas Chinese mula sa Pilipinas. Sa itaas ng palapag, makikita ang rebulto ni Chiang Kai-shek. Alright, so we're on the fourth floor of the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. And this is one of the attractions dito sa Memorial Hall. Um, you see the big statue of General Chiang Kai-shek sitting down. Sa baba nun ay dalawang guards facing each other. Now, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every hour, nagkakaroon ng changing of the guards. It's like like London, di ba? Um, parang it's, it's an attraction to see how the guards change. Wala pang tenoklak ang dami ng tao nagaantay for the changing of the guards. So, let's just wait for a few minutes. Gahero tip, kung gusto nyo manood ng changing of guards, mas maganda kung pupunta kayo ilang minuto bago ito magsimula para makakuha kayo ng magandang pwesto. Banana the Chief, um, siguro from their uniformity, uh, accurate movements. You have to think that this is probably the best five-minute show that you'll see for free in Taiwan. So, must see. Sa pamagitan ng mga ganitong lugar, naibabahagi pa rin ng mga Taiwanese sa mas nakararami ang mahalagang kasaysayan ng kanilang bansa. History will never get old. Speaking of old, alam niyo ba ang average life expectancy sa Taiwan ay nasa 80 years old? Kumpara dito sa atin sa Pilipinas na nasa 69 years old lang. Ano kaya ang sikreto nila? Dito sa Yang Mingshan, may isang garden na halos 50 taon na ang inaalagaan. Bakit ko nabanggit ang garden na yan? Alam niyo bang maraming health benefits ang gardening sa katawan natin? Bukod sa pwede itong maging form of exercise, basa sa isang Dutch study, nakatutulong ang gardening para mabawasan ng cortisol levels o stress levels sa katawan natin. Bukod dyan, may mga healthy bacteria pala tayong maaaring masinghot mula sa lupa. Healthy bacteria ang mga ito na maaaring magtaas naman ng serotonin level natin. Ang serotonin ay isang uri ng chemical sa ating utak o mas kilala bilang the happy hormone. High serotonin levels mean happy mood equals, alam niyo na, happy biyahero. Biruin nyo ha, kung 50 years na nila itong ginagawa dito, ba, hindi lang farm ang napatatagal nila, kundi pati ang buhay nila. Uh, here we are in the Jaipu Garden. Okay. This farm is famous for the canna lily, canna lily? and the hydrogia flowers. Right. And then, now, let me introduce the owner here. Oh, okay. Hi, Ruby. Hey, hello. Hello, hello, Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. It's, even though it's currently raining outside, it's still very beautiful. <laughs> is this like the whole year round? One month. Oh, one month. Yeah, last one month for this uh, hydrogen. Oh, flower. and then for a d different season, a different yeah. set of flowers. Yes. Wow. Uh, in summer, it's different. It's, uh, in summer, it's different. Yeah. Wow. And then when did the farm start? Long time ago, we came to the grandmother. Your grandmother's here? Yes. Okay, okay, wow. I was asking your granddaughter, uh, how how did it all start? How did you imagine to plant different beautiful flowers and depending on the season? Mm -hmm. 
，无水啊，啊无水，常常啊爱，常常环境也无水啊，我就讲无水就爱种该该种。We started 50 years ago uh, with a cabbage. Okay. And then uh, after that, we had a canna lily. Okay. And then because this place was lake of water for a, a, a quite a long time. Oh, so, it's, it's a sh lake. Yeah, it's lake a lake. Water. Okay. Wow. So then we put, we plant a uh, hydrangea. Kasama ng kanyang asawa, pinag-aralan nila Mrs. Wang ang pagtatanim ng naayon sa klase ng lupa na meron sila rito. What's so special about the soil here? Because we're in a mountain area, so we have very pure water, and the climate is very good climate as well, pure climate. And most important of all, we have volcano here. Ah, right. I mean, if you talk about volcano soil, I can see from this view, there is a part of the mountain that's oozing with Sulfur smoke. Yes. Yes. Because of the sulfur from the volcano, so light influence the flower become turn into red or purple or even blue. Mm. It depends on different alkaline and the different acid. Oh, okay. So it's natural, different shades of coloring. Yes. Wow. Dahil may edad na rin si Lola May Lee, mas pinili na ang po niyang si Ruby o Pinfang na bumalik at tumulong sa kanilang farm nang matapos siya sa pag-aaral. You're the third generation and what made you decide to, you know, after graduating uh, school, to come back here and continue the business? Yeah. Why I returned here? Because during that time, 10 years ago, only my grandpa worked in here mm. to uh, organize this farm. So. And my grandpa didn't like the cell phone too much. Ah. So we were kind of uh, worry about the uh, situation. So I would like to come back to help my grandpa ah. and then to oh, wrap up the mm. uh, farm. Sa ngayon, si Ruby na ang abala sa kanilang cafe at sa pangangalaga sa flower farm. At kung akala nyo ay eh, nakaupo na lang si Lola May Lee, nagkakamali kayo. Kayang-kaya pa rin niyang gumawa ng mini baskets sa loob lang ng ilang minuto. Kita niyo naman ang hand coordination ni Lola, oh. sigurado dahil pa rin yan sa pagtatanim. Malakas pa eh! This is for you. Oh! Yeah! And you're longer. Oh, it's good for a container. Wow! Anak, morning! Papa! Tosya! Tosya! Tosya!